Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to bring you this video because I finally received my Beautylish Lucky Bag. Yes! <laughs> I did my very first lucky bag last year and I really enjoyed that box. I've been thinking about this box for months and it's finally here and I cannot wait to see what is in this box. If you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, all of it. <laughs> and I will have those all up here for you guys to go check that out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what is in this bad boy. Yay! Okay, so this is the card. It says Lucky Bag 2020. And I actually kept my card from last year. Lucky Bags are a Japanese New Year custom that inspired us to create our own. The crane on this year's Lucky Bag symbolizes longevity and good luck. We hope the surprises inside make your 2020 a little more lucky. So, yeah, I'll probably be keeping that one too. I really, really like the paper on this. I think it is absolutely stunning. I do love the cranes. I think they're so beautiful. So, let's see. Open it up. And, ooh, I see bubble wrap. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop this box because I don't want anything falling out. And I kind of want to be careful with this just in case there's anything breakable in here. Where is the, there it is. All right, so it came in a nice little bubble wrap. One thing I will say about Beautylish is they really, really know how to package stuff, so make sure that it doesn't break. That's the one thing I love about ordering off of Beautylish. It doesn't matter if it's a lucky bag or anything that you order off of their website, it's always packaged beautifully. So, the first item I have, Okay, Good Molecules. Now I got a Good Molecules um, item last year and it was a brand new brand that had come out. Um, this is the Brightening Toner. Oh nice, I don't think this is what I got last time. Oh yeah, I did not get this last time. Last time I got something that had like a little dropper to it. This is a huge bottle. This is 120 milliliters. That is awesome. Formulated with I can't even pronounce that first word. Oh my gosh. Niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutin, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve appearance on enlarged pores. Okay, I have a lot of pores right here um, that I really don't like. So <laughs> I'm actually really excited to test this out and see if that works. Ooh, that's a glass bottle. Gotta be careful with that. Okay, moving on. We have something from Pharmacy. This is the Bright On Massage Activated Vitamin C Mask. That's awesome. First of all, I love face masks. Second of all, I love the brand Pharmacy. Uh, I think they have some really amazing products. Plus, this is also not tested on animals, so that's always a huge plus. So this is the bottle right here. Nice, good size. This is a vitamin C clay mask that instantly brightens and helps detox skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve the appearance of skin texture and tone. So that sounds really nice. Two really good skincare products. I'm already happy. So let's keep moving. And this is something big. What in the world is this? Okay. This is what Ooh. a Beautylish presents faux fur brush roll okay oh okay so this is like a little um, brush pouch this is definitely not something that I would use um, it feels really really soft and it does feel nice but, I don't know. Maybe for someone who travels that this would be uh, something really good. Now, it does have like a magnetic piece right here, so it does snap shut. Um, so this would probably be good for travel, but I don't really travel that often. Uh, so yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this aside for a future giveaway. 
Um, hopefully somebody else will be able to put this to a little bit more use than I will. The next item we have is from Cover FX. These are the glitter drops. Now, I've seen Cover FX in a lot of like boxy charm boxes and things like that. So this isn't something like out of the ordinary to receive. Um, let's see, this is in the shade Lunar. <laughs> I don't know if I would use this. Hmm, it's blue. Very, very pretty. I mean, it's it's really pretty. It's like this crystal blue shade. I just don't know if I would use it or not. Um, I seem to get a lot of blue highlighters, like blue Jeffree Star highlighter, blue glitter drops. I'll have to think about that, see if I even want to test it out because I would hate to open it and not like it. So I might just be better off get passing it along to somebody who would use it. All right, looks like we have two items left. Oh, yay. <laughs> I'm so excited for this one. This is a Sonia G brush and this is the Worker 3. Very, very nice. I've always wanted to try her brushes, but if you guys know Sonia G, her brushes are really expensive, kind of like a Wayne Goss brush. Um, oh, that feels incredible. Oh my gosh. I love the way that this feels. I like that this is like a deeper red with black and the bristles. Oh my gosh, the bristles, you guys, are probably some of the softest I've ever felt in my life. I'm so excited for this. Now last year I got a Wayne Goss brush. I was really excited but it was a fan brush and I don't really use fan brushes so I've only used that brush like one time. This is something that I would use over and over and over again so I'm so excited that this is in here. And we have one more item. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. This is something I've never tried before. I'm so excited you guys. Okay, so this is the Luxury Palette of Pops um, and this is from a Charlotte Tilbury. I have always wanted to try her eyeshadows but gosh darn, they are so expensive that I just cannot bring myself to purchase them. As much as I have seen a couple palettes that caught my eye, that price turned it back the other way. <laughs> so I'm so excited that this is in here. Um, on the back it says, I have decoded the secret to mesmerizing eyes and an easy to use application ritual. And then on the back it actually tells you how to use it. So number one is to prime, number two enhance, number four pop, and number three smoke. I even like the packaging, that's so pretty. Okay, moment of truth, let's see what it is. Oh, I love that. Look how stunning that is. See, this is why I've always wanted to test it out. Okay. Yes, beautiful. Nice little mirror. And then these are the shades right here. Definitely something wearable. So like it says, uh, let's see. So it would be Prime, Enhance, Smoke. No. Prime, Enhance, Pop, and Smoke. So, let's swatch these. They're a little dry to the touch, but that doesn't mean that they would perform badly. Oh, that's really, really pretty. These are all shimmery shades. Interesting. They are very pretty, but I don't know. I think this palette runs for like $53 or something. Just, I'll have to see what they look like on the eyes, but I'm still really excited to try it. I've always wanted a Charlotte Tilbury palette, and now I have one. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do a quick recap of everything that I got. We have the Good Molecules Brightening Toner, which I am so excited to try for. Um, Wayne Goss actually did a review on Good Molecules, and he actually had some really good things to say about this brand. So, so excited to test this out. I'm really getting into skincare. You know, I'm kind of in my mid 30s, so I'm really loving skincare and taking care of myself. Um, so, very happy this is in here. And uh, speaking of skincare, we have the Pharmacy Bright On Clay Mask. 
I love clay masks. I love this brand. Super excited for that. Uh, we have the little pouch, which is nice. It's just not something that I would probably use, so I'm going to pass this on. We got the cover effects, glitter drops. Uh, the shade is so pretty, but I just don't think it's something that I would wear every day. Um, maybe something I would wear for like an Instagram post, but not enough to use it. I think it would be better if I just pass it on. We have the Sonia G brush, which this just, oh my gosh, it makes my whole entire day. I'm so excited to have this. I'm so excited to try it. And yeah, this is just, Oh, I'm so happy with that. And last but not least, the Charlotte Tilbury palette. Always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury, and now I get to. So I still think this was a really, really good bag. Um, I'm really happy with it. And this is a tradition that I think I will continue next year. So that is it, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, give me a big ol' thumbs up before you go. And I'll see you next time. Bye.